This is Tom Mills with Green Home TV, and we're on location on the second floor of the Home Edition, and I'm with Gene Latour of Duratop. Welcome, Gene. Thank you very much, Tom. We decided within the, the Home Edition here to do radiant floors. Now, we decided that for a few different reasons, mainly because it's really comfortable, or at least that's what you guys were Absolutely. telling us. Absolutely. Yes, it's uh, definitely going to bring some benefit uh, in energy savings, first of all, but also comfort and that's a big thing people are a lot more aware of uh, radiant flooring is that it is a much more efficient heat and uh, just in the fact that it's radiating up you're not getting uh, the dust factor a whole number of other things of course there and it's immediate warmth basically on the feet and it's uh, uh, and I'll explain a little with the properties of this topping why uh, the benefit is even more so than other materials on the market that are used to encase the tubing. And most people when they're building a house and in North America especially most people are used to a forced air duct-based system. Right. Heating up the air with uh, either a gas furnace, oil, something like that. Correct. And then blowing that air around their house. That's right. <laughs> and now uh, you made reference to less dust. So maybe you just go over kind of a few of those key points that separates out a radiant floor system and comparing that to a forced air system. Yeah, simply all it is, it's a, it's a closed loop system of, uh, of hot water that uh, is sort of circulating through the tubing and that's just radiating through the tubings are encased in the, in a material um, and that is basically uh, radiating the heat upward you want the heat you're wasting a lot when it's up in the air and it's always has to be blown down there's a lot that's wasted first of all and there is no dust because it's just actually radiating to the floors and so walking on it's more comfortable to start with and just the overall efficiency of a and you want it to be it's in the uniform heat throughout uh, as well so it's not just at the locations where the ducts are. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's it's very different. And this has been standard in Europe for many, many years. And there's a lot of products and technologies that uh, they've been using due to energy costs and just the efficiency that uh, people are starting to adopt here a lot more. Now I understand too that in terms of control, and actually in terms of controlling the heat, you can do what you call a zoning. That's correct. Yeah, and that's generally between the owners and uh, the mechanical uh, uh, contractors, they'll determine based on the layout of the room, how many zones they want, how many different controls. It can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. We've been in some very large places. The mechanical room looks like a big commercial house and there's many, many different zones and you can shut them right off. You can have different temperatures, whatever the case. So yeah, it's a matter of what you're looking to do in your place. Now, I'm comparing that to a forced air system. I know as, as one person jokingly said to me, most forced air systems have like one zone. There's one thermostat in the house, yep. typically in the middle of the house. That's correct. And it is only at that place where that thermostat is located where it really is that temperature. Anywhere else in the house could be give or take. That's correct. But we're talking about putting um, a thermostat. I know that within this project, we're gonna have at least one on each floor. And so there's at least three zones so that each floor can have its own unique temperature. Yeah, they can have as many zones and also as many thermostats to give them that much more flexibility and, and control on the uh, on the areas of heating so it is very flexible in that way so to summarize we're talking control yep. efficiency and we're talking comfort absolutely because i know as as one person said you know if your feet are warm you're warm <laughs> that's that's right especially in the winter and uh, we all know especially if you've got rigid surfaces ceramic tiles or anything like that it's cold in the feet so it, you know it's definitely a comfort thing and uh, that's, sure. that's what this is all about. 